I'm Kristen Cho. And I'm Cameron Word. Let's let's kick things off to a really good start. Okay. How do we do that? I don't know. You're the one with the ideas. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I have okay. a great idea. Okay. The idea is that I give you a free book. Free book? Free Power English <gasps> book mailed to you. Oh, how can we receive this free Power English book? Okay. If you follow me at... The Kristen Cho, K R I S T E N C H O. Yes. Uh, on Instagram, I and you send me your info, but you have to introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. J don't just say, "Give me a book, please." Mm. Let me know who you are. Uh, I will send you a free book. Yes. Yeah. Because studying with a book makes such a big difference with this particular program. Oh yeah. We only speak English. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. The material is not easy. It's a bit intermediate to advanced. Right. So having the book really does help. Oh, for sure. Seeing all those words mm -hmm. while we say them yeah. will definitely help them stay in your brain. Mm -hmm. Will help you to understand everything we're saying so much more easily. That's right. If you're new to the program, every day there's a new topic. Every Monday is the same topic. But you know, every day of the week is a different topic. Yes. So today we start with a business dialogue. Mm. Okay. And we are going to the print shop. Yes. Ordering from a print shop. Mm -hmm. Help me stand out. Now, if you are a business, you know, you need certain brochures. You need menus. Yes. You need all sorts of things, right? Mm -hmm. Quality of the paper is important. You know, what kind of font? All of those things. Even though it's a very digital age, yes. still things need to be printed. So that's what our dialogue is going to be based on. Now, if you say to someone, help me stand out, yes. what are you asking them to do? You're saying, help me be seen. Mm -hmm. I want to be different from everyone. Yeah. I need attention. Yeah. Because you're a business. You need right. advertisement, right? Right. So you're trying to look good or look different mm -hmm. so that people's attention goes to you. Right. Exactly. So it's like, help me get noticed. Yes. Okay. Place an order is another expression. So to place an order means to order to give a request mm -hmm. for something mm -hmm. but there is a little bit of a nuanced difference yeah. sometime that we will talk about a little later all right very good to make a good or bad impression first impression mm. Mm -hmm. so the first time you meet someone mm -hmm. what type of memory are they going to have of you Ah. Will they have a good memory of uh -huh. you? Uh -huh. Will they have a bad memory of you? All right, very good. So here are the expressions that we're going to focus on. Let's go ahead and listen to our dialogue. Hi, welcome to KJ Printing and Design. Do you have an order to pick up? No, I didn't place an order yet. I went to your website, but I thought I needed a personal consultation. Great. What kind of business do you run? That'll give me an idea of what products you might benefit from. I do home renovations and remodeling. I need some marketing materials that'll help me stand out from the competition. Remodeling is a crowded field. So you need to make a bold first impression. Exactly. Okay, so let's take a look at this dialogue. Kendall says, hi, welcome to KJ Printing and Design. Do you have an order to pick up? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. All right. And Charlie says, no, I didn't place an order yet. I went to your website, but I thought I needed a personal consultation. Mm. Okay, here comes our first expression. No, I didn't place an order yet. Yes. Okay, so place an order is our expression, mm -hmm. uh, one of the expressions. Now, we can say, no, I didn't order yet. Yes. And so you were going to tell us the difference between the two. Right. Mm. So order is maybe the widest usage. General. Meaning, the most yeah. general. Yeah. So if you do not know, it's maybe safest to always just say to order. Yeah. But to place an order, mm. 
feels like you have a custom order or a special order. Yeah. And it is often Mm -hmm. not food. Yes. So you can order a hamburger, Uh but you do not often place an order Mm -hmm. for a hamburger. Yes. However. However. Oh, boy. However. Uh Uh-huh. You can place an order for, like, a pizza. Because think of all the options you have for pizza. Mm -hmm. Do you want small, medium, large? Mm -hmm. Do you want extra cheese? Do you want no sauce? Uh Do you want eight slices or 16 slices? Oh, my gosh. Do you want... There's so much to choose from. That falls into the the customizing part, right? Ah. Or, Or, going back to the burger thing. Okay. Let's say you're having a party. Oh, yeah. That's right. I was it's thinking that. It's a special yes. event. Right. And you're not ordering one hamburger. That's right. You're ordering, I need 40 hamburgers. Yep. I need 20 cheeseburgers, <laughs> yeah. 10 veggie burgers, <laughs> and 10 mushroom and bacon burgers. That's good. And I need them ready at 5 p.m. Yeah. On Thursday. Okay. Right? That is placing an order. Right. So when you're placing an order, it is not just going to a restaurant and ordering. Yes. There's something special Often something scheduled, like yes. a certain day, right? Mm-hmm. So with this printing, mm-hmm. you're going to have a very, very special condition yeah. for what type of advertisement, what type of pamphlets that you're going to need. So you're putting an order that is customized. Yes. Yes. Very good. Now, how about a personal consultation? What is a consultation? This is whenever you are getting the first kind of feedback or opinion of a professional Mm -hmm. they're looking at you and giving their opinion on what you need to do okay all right so then let's move on kendall says great what kind of business do you run Mm. that'll give me an idea of what products you might benefit from yes okay our pattern today is what kind of blank do you blank yes this is a great question uh uh-huh when you need a general sense for something from somebody. Ah. So this person doesn't ah. know anything about the business. Right. So they're saying, what kind of business do you run? Yeah. Give me a like a simple idea yeah. of what your business is. That's right. So maybe you want like, uh, you know, new wallpaper. Yeah. Oh, what kind of color mm-hmm. do you have in mind yes it's a pattern right oh yeah. i want bright colors mm-hmm. oh i want dark colors uh-huh. oh i want patterns right like yeah. you're giving the general idea for what you want that's right mm. that's right so what kind of blank do you blank mm. all right so that's why kendall's like okay so now you got to give me more information and what does charlie say i do home renovations and remodeling i need some marketing materials that'll help me stand out from the competition okay so charlie's business is all about renovations and remodeling yes and he needs marketing materials that'll help him stand out mm-hmm. so if you stand out yes it means that you look different mm-hmm. than everybody else. Yeah, yeah. Or you grab the attention of other people. Right. Mm-hmm. And we can say this in uh, other contexts aside from business, uh, yeah. in this business situation. I mean, if you're wearing something like really loud, like a neon pink, you will stand out. Right. Right. But in this case, Charlie is saying, like, he really wants to be, like, oh, he wants to grab people's possible clients. Yeah. You know? When you're advertising, yeah. your advertisement has to stand out. Mm-hmm. So people will look at it. Mm-hmm. And then if they need the service, they will contact you. That's right. And so Kendall says, remodeling is a crowded field. So you need to make a bold first impression. Mm. Well, this is an interesting expression. Remodeling is a crowded field. Yes. Well, this is, what does this mean? So remodeling as a profession. As a, yeah. 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 As the business. The, as a business. Yeah. Saying that there's a lot of people that do that. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. not rare. Many people do remodeling. Nah, that's right. right. That's right. That's so, right. So they need to make a bold first impression. Okay. You need to get people's attention. Yeah. You need to make a very strong first impression. Mm. So to make a first impression, 
to make a first impression is to leave a first memory with someone. Mm -hmm. You see them or you meet them for the first time. Mm -hmm. What do you think about them? Yeah. That is the first impression. That's right. So you can have a good first impression, Mm -hmm. bad first impression. Right. A strong first impression. Strong person. Mm -hmm. Or or a weak first impression. A weak first impression. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Uh, Let's go ahead and listen to that again. Hi. Welcome to KJ Printing and Design. Do you have an order to pick up? No, I didn't place an order yet. I went to your website, but I thought I needed a personal consultation. Great. What kind of business do you run? That'll give me an idea of what products you might benefit from. I do home renovations and remodeling. I need some marketing materials that'll help me stand out from the competition. Remodeling is a crowded field. So you need to make a bold first impression. Exactly. Okay, it's time for Power Note. Let's do a quick review. If you place an order, it's like you are ordering, but with very specific requests. Yes. Okay. Bob, I need you to place an order for more eggs and flour. Will do, Mila. Do we have a big bread order next week? Okay. Ah, so this is a bakery. Bakery. Where they are contacting the supplier of their food. That's right. So if you work in a restaurant or a bakery, you order very specific amounts. All right. Right? Mm -hmm. And you even choose, like, what size of eggs. Right. What kind of flour. Right. Right? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. So totally. it's, it's all very customizable. It's usually special and scheduled. Right. Mm. So I think in the world of business, whether it be, be a restaurant, bakery, or just regular business, mm. you do place orders because they're very specific. Yeah. Mm. I would say in a personal setting, uh-huh. I only really place an order for things like a birthday cake. Mm. You know, yes. you have to call like three or four days in advance. If you want like a good one, you have to call in advance and mm-hmm. be like, hey, I want to place an order. And please write the name Happy Birthday, Kristen yeah. or Cameron. Mm-hmm. Like like in Korea, they just buy the cake. Yeah. But in America, they it, it, this is a cultural difference. But mm-hmm. usually in America, they will have it written like Happy Birthday, you know, Jungbo P. Yeah, <laughs> you know? that's... That was one cultural difference mm. I found. Yeah. Birthdays here, you just go buy a cake. You just buy it, buy any cake. But uh. in America, you have to, generally, uh-huh. it has to have your name on it. Yeah. And right. It, yeah. It has to be. It's true. You have to place an order in advance. That's right. That's just, right. You know, just a cultural difference. Yeah. Very cul- mm. It's a very small difference, but there is a difference. I need to place an order for more flour and butter, please. Mm. Okay. Again, having to do with like, you know, um bakery stuff yeah okay so place an order keep that in mind if you stand out or if something stands out it means it's noticeable it gets people's attention Mm. okay i was wondering why you hired me instead of the other candidates you stood out from everyone else because of your humility and positive attitude wow everybody else had a bad attitude yeah they were not humble big (laughs) egos oh goodness Mm -hmm. mm-hmm What makes this restaurant stand out is the quality of food at such a low price. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, there's many. there are many different ways you can stand out. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's by being loud mm-hmm. and by being very bright and colorful. Right. But as you can see in the, the example we just said earlier, mm-hmm. that person was humble. They were the opposite of big. Right. Right. And loud. Right. They were quiet and maybe a little small and shy. Right. But that made them stand out because they were different. So what do you think makes Power English stand out from other English programs? This is a very subjective question. Right. But let's think about this. Well, I do think mm. that we have a fun atmosphere. Mm-hmm. We do learn, but there are a lot of jokes that we have. Yeah. Uh, and we are almost... All in English. Right. Uh, so True. we do not do a lot of our explanations in Korean. Right. So right. that is another thing that helps us to stand out from some other. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right, sure. right. So a lot of our listeners have mentioned that um, they feel like we're their friends. Oh. I know. We like, are your friends. We are your friends. They're like, oh my gosh, I, I know so much about you. I feel like you're my friend. <laughs> so we're not your teachers. We're just like your friends. Yeah. We're your buddies who help you out with your English. Honestly, it's a little oh. scary. We had, When we had the fan meeting of like a while yeah. back. Yeah. They, people knew a lot about me. <laughs> and I remember... Oh, I, I did say that uh, <laughs> on the radio, didn't I? People remember. People remember. I know. Uh-huh. All right. So, to stand out, especially if you want your business or your logo or your advertisement to stand out, it means that, like, you just want to get noticed. Yeah. So, yeah. this can be a good thing or a bad thing. Uh-huh. Sometimes you don't want to stand out. No. If you're in the military, you want to... <gasps> You don't oh. want to be the soldier that stands out. Oh, no. You want to enough. look like everybody else. That's right. Oh. That's right. There are times when you want to stand out and when you don't. Yep. Okay. Uh, make a adjective meaning good, bad, bold, you know, strong first impression. Yes. To make a, a good first impression mm-hmm. means like, you know, you want that first opinion mm-hmm. of you to be good. Yeah, it's what that, that mm. first image that uh-huh. people are going to have of you. That's right. Mm. The last interviewee didn't make a good first impression with me. Me neither. She kept looking at her phone the whole time. Oh! Uh, oh, not good. That is true. When you meet someone for the first <gasps> time... You don't look at your phone! Like, yeah, like if you're on a, like a date or something Ugh. and they touch their phone... No, no. I'm sorry. That's a no-no. That's going to leave a bad first impression. Absolutely. That's mm. a big no-no. Thomas said you made a good first impression with his mother. Oh. Mm, that's yeah. important mm. when you're dating, right? Yeah, you go in, mm-hmm. you're, like, meet the mom and dad. Yeah. And if you're a guy, you mm-hmm. have, in Korea, you have to eat a lot of food. Yeah. <laughs> so you make a good first impression. <laughs> that's true. That's so true. Our power pattern today is what kind of blank do you yes so what kind of ice cream do you want Mm, what general type do you want creamy do you want fruity Mm -hmm. do you want Mm -hmm. like gelato style yeah yeah what kind of pet do you have yeah you want to is it a big pet is it a small pet a cat dog is it a hairy pet yeah (laughs) a hairless pet right Mm. our power vocab today is consultation do check out the definition and let's thank our sponsor